One of the most difficult things with being a creator is having to index all your assets. And by assets, I mean all the images, all the videos that you have, it can really be such a pain. And that's where Image Ranger comes into play. Having something that allows you to index all your photos and all your videos makes life so much easier. It's also quick and easy to set up, easy to install. Personally, the way I like to use it is project by project. So I'll select one folder for assets, for example, and then I'll process all my photos through that folder. But once you get up and running, the first thing you need to do is index all your photos and videos. Once it's indexed, you can access them instantly. It's so much easier than going through the folders on your computer. What I find useful is how fast it is to access these files. They're really large files, large photos and large videos, but it makes it so easy to access them. But not only that, but from the software, you're able to easily organize your photos into folders. I'm able to create subfolders, but still look at the images in those folders at the same time. It's just an easy way to see all your files, but still be able to access them and organize them. So let's run through some of the features. I think photographers and people working with large photo files are really going to benefit from this the most. What it allows you to do is quickly and painlessly edit the metadata. That includes things like adding locations very easily, adding the date and the time that the photographs were taken. You can organize all of that and do all of that straight from the software. It also has facial recognition. For each photo, it will notice where there are faces and you can easily add a name to the face. And then once you've done that, that name is recorded on your system and you can add that to other photos. The great thing about adding that piece of data is it stays with the photo. So even if you're using another software, you'll still be able to see that facial recognition and the name attached to it. It's fantastic. So what you're getting with that is that the facial recognition is permanently tagged to that image. And what I like about Image Ranger is that it makes it so easy to correct duplicate files. So here you can see three images that look quite similar. On one of them, I've taken out the logo on the t-shirt. On another one, it's just a duplicate of that same picture with the logo. You can see that Image Ranger is able to recognize even just a little detail like that to say this is the true duplicate and you can delete one of these pictures. It makes it so much easier to organize. Sometimes you will duplicate pictures just so that you can edit one without having to download it again or just so you can have a safe copy. And speaking of having a safe copy, the great thing is when you do edit your photos on Image Ranger, it automatically saves a copy of it. You don't have to worry about having a limited amount of times that you can click on do. You can always revert back to the original image because Image Ranger creates a duplicate for you. And with the editing, you don't have to worry too much. All you have to do is click auto enhance and it'll deal with most pictures. What I really like about Image Ranger so far is that once you've indexed the photos, everything moves so quickly and you can add a lot of details to your files in just a few clicks. That's the benefit of Image Ranger. Everything is done in just a few clicks and it's done very quickly. And if you're someone who's trying to print your photos, it's very easy to organize the print and format. You can easily select the amount of rows and the amount of columns. It's a very straightforward process. Thank you very much for watching.